uh, my name is Daniel Chong and I'm an artist curator um, and also the curator of Sugar Pills or Bitter Wolf. The Sugar Pills and the Bitter Wolf features five artists. That's Retam, Yo Yan Avis, Mike Chang, Ng Kai Er and Ryan Lim. I liken the works to sugar pills because sugar pills are medical placebos. They are mostly made of sugar and starch, but given the form, context, and who takes it, their effects are greater than the sum of their parts. Similarly to absurdity, it's not just here to sugarcoat or to just be a laugh, but used correctly, I would like to think, can be a way of unlocking how we approach the world. My name is Mike. Um, I am uh, an artist and I've been living in Singapore for the last 11 years. I'm from Taiwan originally. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about um, the idea of building uh, devices that have that seem kind of abstract yet seem kind of familiar at the same time. The three objects in the space is actually under one series of work. It's called The Thief, The Storage and The Trap. I came up with the title thinking about uh, what are some suggested functionality of this object. Maybe in do this work, I want to point out how strange it is when we are performing the, the role of being a consumer. The idea of intake and output, intake and output, intake and output. And so it's a constant performance that we are doing. I'm Desri Tang and I work fundamentally with fun objects. I'm quite interested in the metaphysics of objects, particularly in feng shui thought um, that it would be quite interesting to look at the rationality and the irrationality of objects and the function of it. So this work titled um, Calculated Luck is actually based on my experience of calculating my luck every year. It was mainly inspired from my work environment. This year, I do face a lot of changes. It's particularly bad. So I thought of creating a structure that actually watched over me, just like how a CCTV in your work environment will watch over you. My name is Avis. My practice revolves around music and how the music comes together. I like to fragmentize the elements from the real life world and then recompose it into my practice using the music, sound and installation and the visuals. I had an inspiration in the workplace that day because I work in the advertising and it's a chaotic environment and everyone sometimes forgets to breathe, sometimes forgets to drink, then they need to remind themselves. And that's why I decided to make fake Nike Air. In short, Fike Air is like a brand that do something with the air and then the breathing exercises. And I like to see how funny it is to see the brands come in the area of meditation breathing, tracking water, to me is humorous. Hello, my name is Ryan uh, and I'm an artist. My practice uh, mainly revolves around collecting several moments and encounters around everyday life. And I sort of write narratives around these things, sometimes exaggerating them. So this work is titled, We Will Never Have Earthquakes. One is a projector projecting a video that spins around the room, showing the light reflection of one of the windows of objectives and also a clip from Casablanca. For this work in Objectives, I decided to draw a little bit more parallels to how we live in Singapore, what comfort and discomfort disruption is in the context of Singapore. I'm Ng Kai Er. I'm a choreographer and a performer and a performance maker. This is actually, I think, one of the most experimental things I've done that is being shown already to the public. An attempt to have Bernice and Jara lead workshop without them really knowing what the workshop material is going to be. Read through the exercises, pick exercises that they think they could lead, and then they're going to improvise leading a workshop together. And we don't know what will happen, but hopefully it will be fun and playful and a little bit disorienting but still calm in the end. I'm counting on Bernice's and Jarrah's ability to adapt and to improvise according to the situation. In other words, an off-script gym is an experimental performative workshop where people who come would try out different ways of communicating with one another I was mentored by uh, Sammy Shan. It was a very fulfilling mentorship. She was very willing to understand and kind of go through the ideas with me. She was even here very present in the setup and she kind of helped me refine my idea and kind of identify why I chose some of the artists and their practices. <laughs>